welcome to RGS News with Miles Tabor and Jay Williams, Cohen Masters of Sports, and Mariana Brown with Weather. And now for RGS number one news team. At this time, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today's weather is a high of 77 and a low of 52 degrees. The sun will set around 7.20 p.m. From September 12th to the 30th, the Reading Challenge continues. Read three books during these three weeks and get a free ticket to the soccer game on October 8th. The Bay Club meeting is October 4th from 3 to 3.45 in the middle school gym. 2022 to 2023 yearbooks will be sold beginning this week. You can find the link on all RGS social media outlets and in the backpack message. There will be a cover contest. You may turn in your cover by sending a photo to ry at greenfieldschools.us or by turning in a paper copy to your teacher. The next chapter, Rudolph Gordon. Submissions should be related to the theme. Cover contest submissions will be accepted through October 4th. Jeremy Mikes is hosting a spirit night for Rudolph Gordon all week at its Main Street location in Simpsonville. On the Jersey Mikes app, use code RGG20 or mention that you're supporting RGS at the register. 20% off of your purchase will go to our school. Kona Ice will be sold on the elementary side today. Tonight at 6 p.m., PTA hosts its live general assembly on Facebook. There is a home game against league tomorrow night. Eighth grade volleyball players will be recognized and fans encouraged to wear neon. Friday, September 30th, is the kindergarten ABC parade. Eighth grade field trip registration is due on Friday as well. Quinn Bay Malia, the, the author of Tristan Strong books, will be at RGS Friday to meet with the sixth graders about books. Today's lunch menu includes nacho bar, taco beef, seasoned chicken, and fruit and vegetable bar. Sports anchor Cohen Masters has the results of last night's volleyball game against Woodmont. Geo <music> skaters beat Woodmont in three sets last night. Seventh grader Tinsley Rain had 10 aces in a row, putting the team up 10 to 0 in the first set. The volleyball team takes league at home tomorrow at 5.30. Now for Team Building Tuesday with Ms. Parker's first grade class. All right, boys and girls, we're going to get started this morning with our more a greeting and an activity to get our day started right. Today, since we've been reviewing our, learning our double facts, what I'm going to do is give you a card. You're either going to have an answer or an equation, and you're going to find your partner that matches your card. And when you do, I want you to stand in front of them, and I want you to make eye contact. I want you to smile, and I want you to give them a handshake, and then I want you to tell them one thing that you like about them to get our day started right, okay? So we're gonna review and do our morning greeting together, okay? Parker integrated a team building activity into her morning meeting. She did a find a match math problem. Her students greeted that person and told them one thing that they think is great about them. Ms. Parker stated, it helps us review math, but also get our greeting and positive comments in for the day. Tech Tip Tuesday is brought to you by middle school librarian, Ms. Jenkins. So you probably already know some keyboard shortcuts like Control C is copy and Control plus V is paste. But did you know there's a lot more shortcuts that can save you time or clicks? You can press Control, Alt, and the Question button to open a keyboard shortcut cheat sheet at any time. And that cheat sheet allows you to view all of your Chromebook's shortcuts. Today's lunch menu includes pasta bar, panne, mer, mer, mer. <laughs> remember to. Yeah, yeah. Gabby Wadsworth. No, Benny Hamlin, sorry. Wadsworth. <laughs>